Hi and welcome to beginner GUI Python tutorial. Okay, let me show you guys how it works. Clear. Enter whatever value in there and you can just click on total on. That's it and we can exit. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Python 3.7 and uh, we put one of these together. Let's do that now guys. Welcome to beginner Python tutorial. I'm going to start by importing the following from taking tag import all. There, and I'm going to import another object. So let's say import taking tag dot message box. there okay those are all the libraries that I'm gonna need for this beginner GUI tutorial so the next thing I like to do now is let me declare my class let's say class GUI and maybe we should just call that beginner so I'm gonna enter underscore beginners there there we go let's enter a column here yeah. okay now let's create a function so I'm gonna say div declare the following initialize as follows and that is going to be self underscore root column there yeah. and let's say root self dot root So this tutorial is going to be all about just calculation for a new beginner. So I'm going to say set dot truth dot title, and I'll just call that addition. There we go. Right, and let's define geometry for it I'm gonna call it a geometry root dot geometry I'm gonna make that let's say the geometry is going to be one let's say hundred one thousand two hundred by we make that six hundred by zero by zero and close that that's my geometry defined the next thing i'd like to do is to create frame one let's say frame one equals frame widget and frame widget is right inside root yeah that is that sorted let's say frame one dot grid and get it packed and inside frame one dot grid I'm going to now enter another frame I will call that frame two so copy that and just paste that here frame number two so inside frame number two let's create okay let's add a row in there and this is going to be frame number two itself that's number two and number two is inside frame one okay so get rid of this and just put frame one there all right so now the next thing is we'll say the role is going to be let's say that's going to be role one role equals zero okay and the column itself column is going to be zero as well equals zero so now I want another frame here frame three okay as for frame three is going to be on rule one and there so I have all my frames defined okay now the next thing I like to do is to create a widget. 
the first widget is going to be a label so let's say self dot lbl i will call that first number okay equals label um first number is going to be inside frame let's go for frame one yeah frame one and on that very first number let's say the text on it is going to be equals enter first number close that right so close that now now let's say first self dot first lbl first number dot grid equals let's copy all of this paste that in there paste so that's the first number now what about text let's create an entry widget is called so lbl let's let me call it txt txt first number and we change this to entry so the entry is like a text box but in the case of the entry there will be nothing there so i'm going to change this to a variable and that variable although it's not declared yet but i'll just call it first num copy this and paste it right there so it's going to be called first number i can always declare the variable right underneath here first num so i'm going to call first num equals let's go for string variable nothing there and I might as well copy it and just create another one for second num okay so we have two variables there so I'll copy all of this widget here paste it right in there and change the whole lot to second number so second and second that is it all done and this is going to be inside rule one column is correct and this one is going to be the same thing rule one column one and this is rule one yeah rule this will be column one so that is correct okay so what i'm going to do now is just to run it up then try it out before we start start up with the calculation but first and first let's change this let's change this to second now here All right so right underneath here i'm going to come down here say if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals and there equals main and say underscore underscore that and we need an underscore here as well cool. and the name of my project is called beginner here you will begin so right here we can say root equals tk and the name of the app application equals okay I just enter root there and right below we enter root dot main loop there so the next thing i will do now is just to save this file first and i'm going to save it as gui beginner 
all right just click on save there the file is saved now and that's the name there so the next thing i'm going to do now is just to run it then you guys see what i'm talking about before we add buttons onto it there we go now that's my label and those are my text box we just need to change these to second so let's go in there and right there we change that one to enter second number there all right the next thing i would like to do now is let me create three buttons so i'm going to call it self dot let's let's just call it add or total that's fine total is fine okay might as well call it btn btn add equals button and inside this very button is going to be yeah let's add that inside frame number three here right and i will leave it like that but let's add a text as well so the text is going to be known as let's just call that very text total there and a comma here so this shows that this button is inside frame number three here okay and there's nothing else done to this button i'm going to still enhance the look on the, of the interface though but for now paste that and just say uh, that will be grilled let's say gr dots grilled or i can just let's take that off we can even say dots grid equals that will be rule equals zero and comma column equals zero that's for the first button now let's copy that very first button and i'm going to add two more buttons one is going to be exit I'll exit and this will be reset there and let's change the names around this is btn reset and btn exit and this will be in row 0 as well column one and this next one is column two 